Legends and Planes. What's up, guys? Jinx here with the PNP update. There's something special about Jesse Reyes. The singer and songwriter was born in Toronto to Colombian parents, and the wide variety of music that she was exposed to growing up, from salsa and cumbia to reggae, rap, R&B, and soul, has influenced her sound today. One song was all it took for us to get hooked, and that was Figures. I gave it all, and you gave me shit, love, figures. Jesse's debut EP Kiddo came out in April, and it spans from raw ballads to rap-inspired flows over electronic production. The project is the product of years of hard work, and although she's happy it's out, the nerves are still there for Jesse, who sees the EP as a first step on the path to much bigger things. While she was in New York, we talked to Jesse about the Kiddo EP, starting with the memorable cover. So the balloon on Kiddo. Um, my whole life I've been a child. I don't think that's gonna change. If I make it to 40, I'll probably still be a kid walking around. So it's, it's a nod to childhood. The fact that it's a helium-filled balloon because I'm rising above a lot of the bullshit that I went through and a lot of the bullshit that people expect from a female, from a young Latina female, you know? Um, the color red, because I feel like I, I'm not, I don't know. If someone asks you about your personality, it's hard to describe yourself, but I like to think that I can express myself through my music without having to talk about it so much. And I feel like the color red speaks without having to speak. You know, you could put red anywhere and that shit will pop and you'll hear it and it'll be so expressive without having to be a giant rose. It could be a little rose in a big white wall and that shit will still be potent. Even as she experiments with different styles, at the heart of Jesse's music is her incredible voice, full of emotion, passion, and at times anger. The song Gatekeeper and its accompanying video is intense. It confronts a dark part of the music industry where people in power take advantage of upcoming artists, especially women. This is the Gatekeeper video. Releasing a song like Gatekeeper on her debut is a bold move. But for Jessie, it was important to be real. When I write about shit, I don't really like to write about happy things. Because when I'm happy or when something good is going on in my life, I like to keep that feeling. But when something's negative and I got um, sad or it's something that fucked me up, I want to get that out. So I'll keep the happy and get that out, get the negative out. And that is some shit that went down. And William Larson, the producer, we were just talking about life. I'm talking about going through it and going through it in the industry and fake love and all that shit. And then we got to that and it just came out. And then when we were deciding on like as a team what we were gonna put on the project from all the songs that I'd made, it made sense to have something there that spoke that spoke to where I am now. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't be singing that shit and I wouldn't have put the video out had I said yes to that proposal. Like I don't people this will make more sense once everyone sees the video, but the fact that I said no, and I'm and I, I'm still pursuing it, and not conforming to that request yet, I'm proud of. Was I worried about any potential backlash from the gatekeepers? No, I, I fucking not was not. I was not because I feel like my mom. My mom sat me down and she was like, "Mija, like my brother did too. He's like, they can't they? They can't do anything. Like, aren't they gonna? Can't they fuck up something that's going on for you right now?" And I was like. It's in their best interest that I don't start saying names, first of all. And second of all, the reason I don't want to say any names is because this motherfucker was popping like five years ago, six years ago, ain't shit now. So I'm not trying to spread light on something, on someone that I don't feel, like I don't want to, I don't want to give someone else a spotlight that, that fucked me over. And also, I want to unify people that have gone through it. And it's not just about females that have gone through it, but about males that have gone through it. So I thought by not putting a name, it unifies who the villain is. So there you have it. This just scratches the surface of Jesse Reyes, so to learn more, check out her Kiddo EP and get familiar before she blows up. And if you get a chance to catch her live, take it. For PMP Update, I'm Jinx. Your goodbyes are getting old. Next time you can go ahead and go. I'm tired of begging you to love me.